Hi guys, Laura here. So today I am going to show you how to turn your little one into a scary zombie for Halloween. Now I want to tell you I don't have any artistic talent and I'm definitely not a makeup artist. So if I can do this makeup, then for sure you can do it. Just follow along step by step with what I do. But before I get started, I need my test subject to turn into a zombie. So here's Freeze. Last year her brother was a zombie, but this year uh, she volunteered to be made into a crazy zombie base. So here we go, let's get started. So what you need for your zombie Halloween face is your zombie face paint, which is your green, your gray, some yellow and black. I'm using this for the white and the red. And this one here, I'm using for that fine detail work. So a nice black fine pencil. You need to have a little bit of fake blood just to make your face look extra gruesome at the end. You need to have a bit of creepy skin. Now I got this at Value Village, but you can get it anywhere that they sell zombie kind of makeup or makeup for Halloween. And it just looks like this, it's kind of gross, but you'll see what we're gonna use that for shortly. But you need to have spirit gum in order to make the creepy skin stick to the face. So you have to have this, you also have to have some cotton balls, which I use to kind of build up the creepy skin. And then I just use these um, sponges to put on the face paint. And you also need a hair dryer to dry the spirit gum in between coats. So the first thing you're gonna use is the spirit gum. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna figure out where on the face you want it to look like dead skin is kind of falling off. And I think for her, I'm gonna do a zombie mouth where it's a little bit lopsided on this side here. So I think I'm gonna put some dead skin coming off here and some dead skin on the forehead. So you need the spirit gum to stick on other things on the skin. So when you put it on, it's going to feel wet, but then you take the hair dryer and you dry it a little bit so that it becomes sticky. So try and keep that way. And then you take the blow dryer and you just dry it until it becomes a little bit sticky. So now that our spirit gum is sticky, you can see <laughs> it's sticky. Um, you can put on your creepy skin and you can use a little bit of the cotton ball to kind of build it up a little bit. So I'm gonna take this disgusting looking kind of skin and I'm gonna stick it on her head. So it's gonna just basically look like she's got rotten skin coming off. Now. This is, uh, this would not stick if I just put it on regular skin. It would fall off, and that's why you need the spirit gum. And then you can take, and if you want, use this to sort of build it up a little bit more. So you just want it to look like disgusting flesh hanging off of them. So try and get the edges smoothed down against the skin as much as you can. And then you can take your spirit gum and seal up the edges with it. There, so that's gonna look like just rotten flesh kinda hanging off your skin. So you wanna take and give it another dry with the hair dryer a little bit, so then you can start applying makeup. So next you're gonna outline the mouth with the black crayon. And what you're gonna do is you're basically gonna make it a bit all lopsided, and then you're gonna draw on the teeth, and then we're gonna put the flesh of the gums around. So I'm gonna do this before I do the whole face, just so I get an idea of where it's gonna go. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm gonna bring it all out this way, and then back. And as I said, it's gonna look a little bit lopsided, so it looks like this part of the mouth is hanging out more than this part. So the teeth are gonna go where the lips are. So I'm gonna do that after I fill in the whole face. So after I've outlined the mouth, I'm gonna take and put two black marks side by side on the nose because that's gonna look like the nose is hollowed out from just being rotten. So it's kinda of gonna look like this. And again, I am not a makeup artist, so if I can do this, you guys can do this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Actually, in the end, it looks phenomenal. There. Next, I'm gonna take and cover the whole face in the, the gray, and then you can put highlights on afterwards. Oh, 
Okay, so now you have sort of the gray base on, and this doesn't have to be covered perfectly because you're going to just grossify it. Is that a word? I think that's a word. Grossify? Grossify. Hmm. If it wasn't, then it is now. It should be a word. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to outline where our teeth are going to be. So our teeth are going to be basically on the lips. Okay, so you're just going to make little lines like this, sort of outlining where the teeth are going to be. Now we're going to do the bottom teeth. So it's kind of like you're doing upside down little humps. And where the teeth come out at the bottom here, you're just on each one, you're going to sort of take and flick it out like you're doing like little veins coming out from the bottom. So you're making an almost an upside down Y here like that. And then you're going to do the same thing at the top, so almost like a tiny letter Y, just like that. So these are kind of the roots of the teeth that are going up. And again, it doesn't look perfect, but it's going to look great once it's all finished. So now that I have the teeth outlined like that, I'm going to take my white here and fill in the teeth area. Perfect. So there you can see that kind of taking shape now. That looks great. And if you want, you can go back in and retouch the black a little bit where it needs retouching. Looks great. Now in here, this is the exposed gum line. So we're going to take a little bit of the red here and see if we can get it to look a little bit like a gum. We might have to add a little bit of white to it depending on how this is going to turn out. Okay, so there, there you have the gnarled looking sort of open mouth zombie. And I'm going to take and just retouch the black again. So now we're going to add our highlights to our zombie makeup. So we're going to put some black around the eyes. It's like a blacky purple. Looks good actually. Great. And I'm going to just draw a couple of lines down here using the black crayon. When you have these gnarly flesh things, you want to kind of yellow them up a little bit. So we have some yellow in our zombie makeup because when you think of pus and just dead skin, you think of that gross yellow and we're going to put some of that green on. So basically, I'm going to do it in the middle a little bit like that of each one. And then I'm going to do it around the outside a little bit. So just kind of like you're giving highlights to this gross flesh that's going to be hanging off their face. Now I'm going to take some of that green and put it on our wounds. So that's looking kind of gnarly. And then I'm going to take the green and I'm going to make the face look a little bit more rotten and dirty. Just kind of speckle it around. That's looking pretty good. That looks like a disgusting zombie right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up with just adding some fake blood in and you can just sort of add it wherever you like. So I'm definitely going to put some on the wounds right in the middle and you can make this as gory or as less gory as you like. So you can add as much or as little of the blood as you like. You can put some over here if you want. You can also add in some definition if you're pretty confident 
like over here where the temple would be sunken in, you can add some black. Same with around the jawline here. Turn to the side a little bit, right here. If you want to add in some highlights, you can add in some deep pocket, sort of contouring that jaw right in. like. And then you can just touch up the makeup as you like. But I think this looks pretty good. Again, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just a mom who had a kid who wanted to be a zombie for Halloween, so I had to figure out how to do it. And I think that doesn't look too bad. So there you go. Easy zombie Halloween makeup. If I can do it, you can do it because I have very little talent when it comes to doing makeup. But my son wanted to go as a zombie last Halloween, so I figured out how to do it. And I wanted to share with you guys how easy it is to make your kids look like this. Scary zombies. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to be notified when we post new videos. Have a great Halloween this year and stay What's safe, everyone. Brains! After you mastered the basic spider, you can 